Hello, the species that we are going to look at today is called Cunninghamia lanceolata. It is a fast-growing evergreen tree that is native to southern China and parts of Southeast Asia. This plant is recognizable by its narrow canopy, its straight tree trunk, and its small grass-like foliage. So the overall、uh, appearance of this plant kind of resembles the firs. Or spruce trees that you can find in colder temperate regions. Hence, the common name is called China fir or Chinese fir. But that's only a result of convergent evolution. But in terms of taxonomy, they are actually not firs, since they don't belong to the genus of Abies, and they are not even closely related to them. The now monotypic genus of Cunninghamia is. Actually belongs to the family of Cupressaceae, the same as cypress and redwood trees. The scientists actually place the genus as the most basal or primitive lineages or genera in that family. So its closest living relatives are the plants in the genus of Taiwania, which is only endemic to central Taiwan. In terms of why is the scientific name called Cunninghamia? Because it was first discovered by the English scientist、uh, slash biologist named Alan Cunningham back in the early 19th century when he travelled to the west side of the Pacific Ocean. Unlike most other species in the same taxonomical family of Cupressaceae, the leaves of the Cunninghamia lanceolata is grass-like, and it almost resembles certain types of monocots. It is also really stiff and prickly. It's not soft to the touch at all. Its leaves may look small and delicate, but they are actually the largest out of all the species in that family. Here is a photo of some true cypress foliage that I would show you for a comparison. As you can tell, those leaves are actually tiny and scale-like. In terms of the morphology of this tree. Is that、um, these are the male cones that produces the pollen? They grow at the ends of the branches, and then they weep down and faces the ground, and they also grow in a clustered clumped formation. They are also pollinated by the wind instead of animals. This is a photo of the unfertilized female cones of this plant, and these are the fertilized opened female cones. They kind of resembles pine cones. Well, the seeds of this plant has got a wing-like membrane, and they are meant to be spread by the wind. In terms of the ecology and adaptations, it is a type of evergreen tree that is、um, adapted to growing in subtropical and warm temperate climates. The growth rate of this plant is is relatively fast, and they have the potential to reach over 50 meters in height, underneath the right conditions and given enough time. This is a short video showing you the juvenile forms of them. As you can see, they are relatively irregular, and they almost look like multi-stem shrubs. Once they're matured. They would often provide nesting habitat for various species of、um, solitary birds, such as magpies and owls. They can also act as a host plant for various types of other climber plants, such as rattan vines and yatums. So, what are the uses of them? Historically speaking, the th this type of tree has been widely harvested as a source of timber throughout China. The timber is often being used as a building material for houses and telephone poles. On the other hand, this type of tree is often being planted as a quick shade tree. The pros of using them is that the canopy is relatively narrow and the roots are relatively deep, so they can fit into small areas easily. It has also been planted as a hedge plant or, or a plant for windbreaks. Because they are relatively resistant to herbivorous animals, due to the prickliness of the foliage, they don't contain any biological toxins. I mean poisons, so they are relatively safe to humans, 
as soon as you don't accidentally step on them. It has also been used for reforestation purposes because they are not particularly difficult to germinate and grow. They are also relatively long-lived, and they can survive in a variety of soil conditions. The slender nature of their canopy and their foliage also allows them to become quite resistant against storms. So once again, thank you for watching. If you liked the video you just saw, then you can feel free to like and share it. And please subscribe to our channel if you like the topics that we do.